Oh, la kwanza kabisa kuhusu haki za binadamu kwa wahamiaji lilifanyika hapa jijini Nairobi. Kongamano hilo linafanyika wakati Kenya imetajwa kuwa kitovu kikuu cha wahamiaji halali na wahamiaji haramu katika eneo la Afrika Mashariki. Mwenyekiti wa tume ya kitaifa kuhusu haki za binadamu Kagwira Mbogori amezungumza katika kongamano hilo. Rights defender who has worked in different institutions at the international, regional, and national levels, I must admit that my own experience has exposed me to some dy dynamics of migration. Migration is simply defined as a movement of people, group of people, from one place to another in search of a better life or greener pastures. The said movement can be organized or spontaneous voluntary or involuntary. We live in a fast-paced world which has enhanced movement of people around the globe. This world is a global village where increased movement of people has been fortified by factors such as technological innovations in transport, medical care, education, housing, growing economies, increased democratic uh, space, but also poor governance, civil wars, bad politics, poverty, and, um, and unemployment, among others. A reflection of Kenya's positioning in terms of migration shows that Kenya is a regional hub and a regular and irregular, I mean a, regular, a regional hub for regular and irregular migration. Current statistics published by the IOM International Organization for Migration and the United States in its Trafficking in Persons report, as well as statistics published by the Danish Refugee Council under Kenya's country profile of 2016, point to the fact that Kenya is a country of origin. It is also a country um, uh, of transit and a destination to both regular and irregular immigrants. So we are in the whole mix. On the other hand, according to United Nations uh, Department of uh, Economic and Social Affairs, UNDESA, 2017 figures, it is estimated that 258 million people live in a country other than the country of their birth. It is therefore timely for Kenya and the Horn of Africa to engage in this discussion on how human rights principles can or should influence migration governance. This conference will not only provide clarity but also a way forward on how the state and non-state actors can enhance collaboration to address the migration-related challenges and the vulnerabilities that result in massive human rights violations for migrants. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my hope that this conference will enable all stakeholders and participants to engage soberly and candidly on the subject of human rights and migration governance. I encourage all of us to allow comprehensive discussion on how the state and non-state actors can, in, uh, can effectively identify any existing gaps and give recommendations that will enhance migration governance through enhanced coordination and collaboration among key stakeholders and reduce instances of violations of migra mi migrants' rights. As Kenya's national human rights institution, our commission is implementing projects on migration governance and human rights by working closely with state and non-state actors in the country with the aim of mainstreaming human rights principles in migration governance within our country. This would not be possible without the support of the GIZ Better Migration Management Program. In addition, the Commission works closely with the government of Kenya using different strategies in different platforms in order to ensure the promotion and protection of human rights for all. It is notable that often migrants are frequently forgotten in key discussions by states due to historical injustices and pre prejudices that accompany the title or name migrant. 
I'm sure all of you have seen, possibly on social media, clips of migrants being tortured, beaten almost to their death. Kwa ngineko 